Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be doing a stress test using benchmarks on both the OnePlus 10 Pro here on my right and the Red Magic 7 Pro here on the left. As many of you are already aware, the Red Magic 7 Pro does indeed have a built-in fan and therefore, to make this performance test fair, I will need to elevate both devices during the benchmark testing to avoid blocking the air intake on the back of the Red Magic 7 Pro. Anyways, for this stress test, I will use Geekbench 5, 3D Mark Wildlife, and Intuitu Benchmark. I will conduct all three tests back to back to better evaluate each phone's thermal capabilities as well as sustained performance, which many of you know is more viable than peak performance. With that being said, starting with the first test, I will be using Geekbench 5 to test the CPU performance for both of these devices. And here we go. So now with both tests complete, right off the bat, here we can see the Red Magic 7 Pro peaking up to 33 Celsius, which isn't that bad at all, while the OnePlus 10 Pro is only peaking at 34 Celsius, which is quite impressive, given that the OnePlus isn't using a built-in fan to cool this device. Single core performance is the same, while multi-core score performance, we are seeing a small gap in performance. The Red Magic 7 Pro is taking the lead in multi-core score performance and overall thermal control in this test. Now, moving on to the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, here we really get to see how each device performs with intense gaming as this benchmark tests the GPU with synthetic 4K graphical intense gameplay for 20 minutes. And honestly, this is one of the most accurate and most optimized benchmarks to use for mobile gamers. And here we go. Now with both tests done, here we can see the Red Magic 7 Pro peaking up to 54 Celsius, which is insane and incredibly high. The OnePlus, on the other hand, is peaking up to 45 Celsius, which is still high, but pretty normal for devices that are being stressed and push to these limits with back-to-back -back testing. Therefore, the OnePlus is already showing to have better thermal management despite having no built-in fan, which is insane. Now as for the performance, here the Red Magic 7 Pro shines. As you can see, when looking at peak performance, or in other terms, the best loop scores, both phones score relatively in the same bracket. However, once we look at the lowest loop scores, here we can see a massive difference and drop in performance for the OnePlus. The Red Magic 7 Pro was able to maintain 93% of its peak performance after 20 minutes of testing, while the OnePlus, on the other hand, dropped down to 63% of its peak performance. Anyways, moving on to the last test, the Intuitu Benchmark, this test tests both CPU and GPU performance. However, before we begin this test, I just want to remind you all, since I am testing these devices back to back, performance scores will be relatively lower in comparison to scores you may see from other tech reviewers. Again, the goal is to really see how each device performs temp-wise under extreme stress, as well as to see the sustained performance. Anyways, with that being said, let's start this test. Now with both tests complete, as we can see, the Red Magic 7 Pro is peaking at 44 Celsius, which is significantly better than the 54 Celsius. As for the OnePlus, this device is peaking at 41 Celsius, which is also not bad. As for performance, the numbers speak for themselves. The Red Magic 7 Pro is definitely the winner here. The Red Magic 7 Pro is leading significantly in both CPU and GPU performance. Overall, this device scored 35% better in performance compared to the OnePlus 10 Pro, while the OnePlus maintained better thermal management during these back-to-back -back stress tests despite not having a cooling fan. Therefore, we can now conclude, performance-wise, the Red Magic 7 Pro takes the lead, while the OnePlus is significantly better in managing thermals despite not having a proper cooling fan, which again, I find very insane and very unexpected. The OnePlus 10 Pro is definitely more efficient with its performance and thermal ratio. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some upcoming gaming FPS tests with this OnePlus 10 Pro. Please stay safe and see you all next time.